Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. Finally, we come to the end of the feature 2. We have integrated the shopping cart template with our Angular application and now our Angular application looks good. Of course, we are not complete, but compared to the feature 1, the feature 2 application looks good. So in this video, we're going to update our database before we wrap up the feature 2. Let's go to the MySQL database and if you look at the book table, we have a 10 records and in the category table, we have a 2 records. In order to start with the feature 3, we need a few more records. Let's update this database. In interest of time, I have already created the SQL queries. Let's open the SQL script file. Let's go to the browser. Let's go to this link. I'll drop a link in the description section of this video for this link. Go ahead and download this. Once you download this, you will get a zip file. Extract the zip file and you will find these files. You will get a four folders and a SQL script file. Open the SQL script file in the MySQL workbench, which I have already opened it. Let's go ahead and execute these queries. Click on this. This will take a few seconds to execute all the queries. Once all the queries got executed, click on this refresh and you can open the database and you can see the tables. Still we have a two tables, book table and a book category. Let's actually verify the records. Let's execute the book table query and you can see now we have a 40 records inside the book table. Let's execute the category table. The category table contains four records. So now we have enough of records for start with the feature three. So let's actually go to the folder where we have downloaded the files. Let's copy these four folders and let's add it to the assets folder. Let's go to the Visual Studio code. Let's open this images inside a uh, explorer, open the images folder. Let's remove this books folder. We don't need this. And let's paste the folders which we have copied. And let's go to the application and see how it will looks like. All right now, right now the application is displaying the description and uh, the description is pretty long. Okay, let's make it short. Let's go to the Visual Studio Code and go to this grid.component.html and we are displaying the description inside the paragraph tag. So let's add a bootstrap class to this paragraph. Text truncate. Let's save this. And if you take a look at the browser, you can see instead of displaying the entire description, we are displaying a three dots, which defines that still there is a text still there, there, there is a more text on it so now if you look at this records in the database we have a 40 records but in the web page it is displaying only 20 records so what is happening this is because of the spring data rest the spring data rest will display only the first 20 records that is a default behavior of the uh, behavior of the spring data rest so in order to display all the records we have to specify it explicitly okay Let's go to the Visual Studio Code and go to the book.service.ts. Let's modify the REST endpoint. I'm going to add a question mark. Size is equal to 100. Okay, we are specifying the size as 100, which will display the 100 records if the records are is available in the database. So right now we have a 40 records in the database and that 40 records is displaying in the web page. Okay, the last one is not displaying. That is because of the typo, some image error that we will fix in the next video. So for now, at least we are displaying all the records in the database, which are there in the database. So let's go back to the Visual Studio Code and get let's get rid of this because we don't need to display the 100 records. I just showed you because of the demonstration purpose. Let's save this. Let's go back to the browser and you can see now we are getting 20 records in the web page. All right, this completes the feature two. We have learned so much of things in feature two, how to download a template, 
how to integrate the template with the angular application and along the way we have learned how to download and install the bootstrap library jquery library and font awesome library soon we are going to start with the feature 3 of course i have to record the videos it will take some time and that's all about this feature 2 if you like the feature 2 then go ahead and share these videos with your friends and colleagues and if you're watching my youtube videos then tag me on instagram i would like to hear from you guys and thank you so much for watching these videos and feel free to reach out to me on my social media profiles instagram facebook all the links will be given in the description section of this video go ahead and create some amazing applications and share it your and share your github repository with me i would like to see your work as well thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified and soon i'm going to post the feature 3 videos thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video